Hi. Um, I have Rebecca here for her interview. Oh, thanks, Matt. Hey, has anyone ever told you that I'm, I'm pretty sure you're Adrian Grenier? If I was Adrian Grenier, why would I be working here? To f fall in love. Rebecca. Welcome, this is Michelle. Hi, Rebecca. Welcome to Spark. Grab a ball. Thanks so much for having me today. Oh, our pleasure. Can I get you something to drink or? No, thank you. Those are some fascinating algorithms back there. Oh, those? Yeah, just something one of our scientists doodled for fun. Let's get started. Tell me something that defined you. I would say my time on the college lacrosse team really defined me. It taught me hard work, dedication, and the ability to push past discomfort in order to reach a goal. That's great. Can you give me an example? Sure. For example, I'm pushing past the discomfort of the area on and around my butthole right now. Would you mind going to a little more detail? I would really like to itch the area around my butthole. It would make me feel a lot better, but I'm not going to because if I did, it would probably turn you off to me as a candidate. So I'm pushing past the discomfort in order to reach my goal, which is to be an employee here at Spark. Your honesty is refreshing, but I'm not here to judge your winker. I'm here to judge your fit at this company. So could you give me three of your weaknesses? My first weakness is that I work too hard. My second weakness is that I'm a perfectionist. And my third weakness is that because I work too hard and I'm a perfectionist, I have trouble delegating responsibility, but it's something that I'm really working on. Can you give me an example of that? The other day, I delegated responsibility to my roommate to buy toilet paper, which I think may have been a bad idea because I don't think she got the toilet paper for sensitive skin, which I believe to be the reason for the severe rash on and around my a-hole. I'm a little concerned here, Rebecca. Because I keep talking about my itchy hole. It's the fact that it's your only example. It's on my mind quite a lot. I can totally understand that, but here at Spark, we need you to be able to do a variety of things at once, you know, multitask. And I'm afraid if you come across a problem at work that is as serious as a brown eyed girl is right now, you're not going to be able to do anything else. I assure you I can't. For instance, I haven't even mentioned my burning patch. That is the kind of effort we appreciate here at Spark. Thank you. Now can you solve those algorithms? I thought you'd never ask. Can you hear the sizzling? Yeah, a little bit. Those are all the questions I have for you. Um, do you have any questions you'd like to ask me? None? Okay, great. Well, um, Matt should be down to pick you up to take you to your next interviewer at any moment. Matt's my assistant. He's the one that brought you here, so I'll pick you up. <clears throat> Maybe I'll call Matt and see if he's ready to pick you up yet. Hi Matt, it's Michelle from recruiting. Uh, you know, red hair, shoulders, enough freckles to feed a small country. Some people say a face without freckles is like a night without stars. I say that, I have said that. Anyway, uh, I meant to tell you, your, uh, the voice on your voicemail uh, sounds good. It's a, it's a good voice. Some people say that my voice sounds like the mix between like a cat and a balloon losing air. You know, like a You get it. Anyway, okay. Um, bye bye. <laughs> bye. <clears throat> bye. I was trying to sound sexy. I think it just sounded fat. <clears throat> so, okay, bye bye. 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 Toodles. See you later. Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> you know, I. I Leave everyone voicemails like that. You know, I, I drive by everyone's house at night, you know? Did anyone ever call you Flip? I, you know, because Philip. I dated a Flip. Kind of a weird guy, you know? Played tambourine in a band. I was so mad when he broke up with me. I mean, tambourine's not even a real instrument. You know, it can't be a real instrument if you can also be played by a strong gust of wind. You know, it's like, oh, do you also play jacket? Stone. Get just a, a nothing. Nothing. I mean, there's like nothing. Nothing's gonna just get at you or anything. I mean, will this give you a reaction? Does that do anything? I mean, how do my boobs smell? Or is it, is it more like, how do my boobs smell? How do, how do my boobs smell? How do my boobs smell? Maybe you're not a boobie. Maybe you, are you a butt guy? Does this do anything for you? Does that give you a reaction? Is that like a, ooh, I like a butt. I like that. I like a feel. Not. I'm here to take Philip to his next interview. Oh, great. I also received your voicemail. Oh, the one I just left? No, from last night. Oh. 
Just so you know, those weren't my cats in the background. Whose cats were they? They were my cat's cats. I'd still call them your cats. <laughs> Thank God it's Friday, huh? It's Tuesday. Ah, crud! <laughs> Why wouldn't you just swallow? Normally, I, I do swallow. OK. Um, I have Cooper here for his interview. Great. And can I just say again that normally I do swallow? OK. Cooper, it's nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you, Michelle. Firm. You too. You have powdered sugar all over your face. Oh, I guess that's why you put observant as one of your skills on your resume. You leave it there the whole time? No. So you guys have balls here instead of chairs. Yeah, we feel it's better for the mind and the body. I prefer a walking desk. Hmm. That's what I have at home. Put it at 0.6 and by the end of the day, I've walked about eight miles. I usually just go for a nine mile run before I go to work. You know, get the heart pumping, more cardiovascular benefits. Well, some say light to moderate exercise throughout the day is best. <laughs> some say it's worse. Hmm. My abs are engaged already. Congratulations on getting engaged. Take it where you can get it, huh? <laughs> so, you want to recruit here at Spark? I do. And you went to Princeton undergrad and Yale grad? Summa cum laude, summa cum laude. Par for the course. Oh, where did you go to school, Michelle? William and Mary? I guess not everyone can be quite up to par then, huh? What's the Yale mascot anyway? An asshole? It's a bulldog. Oh, <laughs> I would have guessed asshole. What's the William and Mary mascot? Someone who couldn't get into Yale? <laughs> no, it's the, well, it was the tribe. But they had to change it, so now it's like a it's like a bird. Sounds very inspiring. Since you seem to think you know more than me, how about we see who can take into account more factors in the fairly simple interview question, how many ping pong balls can fit into a 747? Fine, I'll go first. In order to calculate the number of ping pong balls that can fit into a 747, first you have to calculate the average volume of a ping pong ball. Point, the size of a 747. Point, the number of seats in a 747. Point, whether those stewardess foldy up seats are up or down, therefore taking up more space. You mean jump seats? Point, luggage compartments, both overhead and below the plane. Point, bathroom. Point, waste container. Point, kitchen area. Point, uh, but technically, it's called a galley. Mm, technically, you're a guest. Stop stalling. Microwave oven in the kitchen area. Point, the refrigerator in the kitchen area. Point, the coffee pot in the kitchen area. Point, the cockpit. Point, uh, do you place? Out of areas? We've covered every area. You forgot one small detail. Impossible. Ping pong balls aren't flat. They won't lie on top of each other seamlessly. You forgot to take into account the space between ping pong balls. You forgot to take into account sphere, sphere packing. packing. Guess you win. I guess I do win. We should make out now. Yes, we should. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get the job? No, of course not. <laughs> 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 There's a man named Salazar on the phone for you. Oh, great. Put him through. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. I, um... I was just examining my chest skin for fun. OK. Um, I bet I, you have some nice chest skin. Why would you bet that? I'm a, I'm a gambling addict. OK. Uh, Michelle, this is Heather. Hi. Uh, welcome. It is, it's, um, It's nice to meet you. It's our nice to meet you dance. It's nice to meet you too. <laughs> uh, please have a seat. Okay. Don't fall. I won't. Oh, no, I'm, I was talking to myself. Uh, saying don't fall because I've already fallen off this ball a couple times today. Balls don't have legs. We both have legs. Can I get you a straw? No, I'm okay, thank you. Great. So, um, oh, you were in the armed forces? I mean, that you were a 
a military lady. Yes, retired. And you program in um, C++, Python, and Java. Yeah, I've completed more than 100,000 lines of code. Great. Are you wondering how I'm able to do so much coding without arms? No. 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 Based on the way you're looking at me right now, I have to assume that what you're thinking is, how does no arm lady type on a computer? Easy answer. You use your feet. Voice command. Voice command. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry to snap at you. I'm just used to people assuming that because of my arms, I can't do things. Oh, no. We're not allowed to talk about any sort of difference or disability to a person, whether it be gender or race or, you know, the number of arms somebody has or it's, um, anyway. Um, well, it's good that you have a policy in place for that. I, I assumed uh, that's what you were doing when you offered me a straw earlier. Oh, no. I offered you a straw because um, I use straws. Well, I'm sorry. You know, I, I really misjudged you. <laughs> really, it's fine. I mean, honestly, if I was going to ask you anything, I mean, it's you're pregnant. You, yeah. Right. OK, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> that would have been. Careful. Yeah. Uh, aren't you really frustrated that you can grow an entire new human, but not new arms? That's very insensitive. You know, I, I felt it as it came out of my mouth, yeah. I'd help you, but I feel like you don't want it. Good call. Hi, HR? Yeah, it's me. I'd like to report myself. My side hurts. Why does my side hurt? Dear search engine, do I have side cancer? Love, Michelle. Oh, it's so loud. Are you okay? Very good doing. I'm gonna offer you an aspirin. No thanks, I'm good. Good. Uh, I have Sarah here for her interview. Oh, great. It's nice to, oh. Ow. Meet you? Yeah, it's good meeting. Um, I'm so happy to be here and- uh, Oh, I see that you have a MD and a PhD. Uh, yes, I studied computational chemistry and neurology. Fantastic. See, here at Spark, we love, um, we love to give people to think on their feet. Yeah, I was just wondering, if we could pop quiz time. My left side hurts, why? Oh, I never practiced medicine, I just have a oh, medical. Oh, so you don't remember? Because remembering is important here. Oh, no, of course, I remember. Um, what does it feel like? Is it cancer, is it side cancer? Do I have side cancer? I don't think side cancer is a thing. Uh, have you had anything to drink today? Uh, alcohol, not in for like three. I didn't mean alcohol. Oh, liquids. Yes, two of these. I meant water. Oh, no. So when was the last time you had a glass of water? Well, today's Friday, so two Tuesdays ago. The second Tuesday of every month I dedicate to drinking water. It's um, H2 Tuesday, so. I think you have a cramp in your side from not drinking enough water. Really? It feels worse than a cramp. It feels like I ran into something with my side. Is there a bruise? I don't know. You didn't see one when you got dressed this morning? Right. Right, because that would be something I would see when I put on new clothes this morning. Because I got out of bed and I was like, I got to put on new clothes for today's day. And these are new clothes. Did you get very drunk last night and sleep at the office? No. Slept on the roof. Okay, so there is a chance that maybe you fell last night? I think I would remember if I fell. I mean, I don't think there's a... Oh, hey, look at that. It 
looks like you tried to stop a moving car. Ah, uh, man, maybe, I don't remember. It, um, this was a test. This was a test and not at all real life. And if you don't tell anyone about this, uh, I will give you a very good review. It has been a pleasure. Great. Also, please drink water. Oh, I have it right here. Uh.